All right, I have this container of, well, it's chicken, it's a chicken. I butterflied it. Now I'm going to put some mango pickle on it to marinate it because the mango pickle is too salty to eat as is. So it smells like it's supposed to, but it's so salty. I don't know why. It says it's a product of India. So maybe they just simply have more saltier food than we do. I don't know. It's not, not palatable to my taste. Um, it has an otherwise good taste. It's just that it just has way too much salt. So instead of eating them as pickles, we're going to use them as a marinade. Don't want to throw them away. They have good taste. <laughs> just that they have too much salt. Who went out? What, what's he doing? In order to marinate a whole chicken, uh, it takes a, a lot of it. Oh, you were emptying that thing. Thank you, Alawi. Did you put dryer sheets in? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Yeah, this is just simply gonna be a marinade because let's put some mango in the armpit. Flavor the armpit. This is mild. It says mild on it, and it's not not really super spicy. Um, I'm probably gonna add a little bit more spice since it's mild. I wonder why it's so salty though. Hi, sweet girl. Hi, sweet Luna. <laughs> Luna girl. Luna baby, Luna girl, your mama's baby. Yes, she's so sweet. Her little eyes have the sweetest expression. She's the little baby that came crying to me when she was tiny. Look at this baby, come here, Luna, Luna. She wants to see my hand, Luna, Luna. <laughs> She wants, she looks to see where my hand is because she wants me to pet her. <laughs> I know my hands have marinade on it. Now I'm going to marinate Luna. <laughs> Poor Luna. 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 I know one of my viewers was saying she missed seeing my cats. Luna is the one that always sneaks in. She, she uh, can stay in the sunroom, but... She comes in the house when somebody opens the door if she gets a chance. I went out there and fed them this morning. <laughs> well, there is my marinated chicken. Mango marinade. Mango pickle. It has bits of mango, green mangoes in it. Bits of green mango and
and some other things, probably a garlic and maybe some ginger. Luna has gone to see the kids now. <laughs> She's probably going to see Zakia. See what Zakia is doing in there. Yeah. Now that's my little mango chicken, mango pickle chicken. I could have spun that with some fresh mangoes and it would have been even more delicious. Or I could have spun it with jalapenos to make it spicier. But that's what it looks like now. It's going to hang out here for an hour, a couple hours, and then I will bake it, roast it. So I'm chopping a leftover onion to put in the meatballs yeah, I'm making yours. for dinner. I want cereal. Okay, go get a bowl, I'll get you some. Be careful, I'm recording, honey. Turn it down. Turn your phone down, please. Thank you. Bring a bowl and, and a spoon and I'll give you cereal. Which kind do you want? The Cheerios or the Cinnamon Toast Crunch? Cinnamon Toast Crunch. All right. Nail polish. Yeah. <laughs> but it's only a little. Bit. It'll come off. It's not like a nail. It'll come right off probably when you wash it. When you wash your face again. I already tried that. It didn't come off. Oh, it didn't? No. <laughs> and you're gonna just have a purple face. It's not even that much. It's only like a little. Just a little bit. Yeah. It looks like raspberry juice. All right, I chopped it all up. Now it goes in the meat. I need that slot your mama seasoning from the pantry. Mm -hmm. All right. So I have that in there. Trying to open this veggie crumb, pea, cr pea crumbs. I'm just going to sprinkle some in a little because I have just one pound of meat to make into balls. I have more meat in the freezer, but I think I'm just going to make one pound into the meatballs, like uh, Salisbury steak meatballs, because um, if I used two, it would be too much because I'm also making a chicken. So I know the boys like this. The twins love it a lot. We'll be putting an egg in here. You want to crack the egg in here, Zakia? Yeah. Want to grab it from the fridge okay. and crack it in? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it gets one egg cracked in it and some seasoning. Just crack one in. She's good at cracking eggs. Yeah. seasoning yet. Pea crumbs and the egg or binder. Oops. Oopsie.
It smells good with the onion bits in there. Okay, let me read the recipe. It might be moose this year. Let me check and make sure. Okay, the Worcestershire does not go in here. The Worcestershire goes in the gravy. It says to put ketchup in these, but I don't think I will. Now that I have the egg in, I need a little bit more of the crumbs. Here, it said a two-third cup of panko, but since I'm not using panko, I'm using the pea-based, plant-based pea crumbs. That's cool that they make crumbs out of peas. I don't usually eat peas because of they have carbs, but that's cool because they're grain free. At least it's not a grain. I don't really eat grains. I'm going to let it sit a little so the pea. Uh, powder can absorb the liquid. I think I have enough pea powder. I don't want to overdo it. I like that pea powder idea. It did say uh, Worcestershire in heat. So, this one. there we go. Finish up that little bottle. What? Lavender oil. This is yours. Oh, uh, this is mine? Yeah. Okay, thank you. I, I don't like lavender. It smells... <laughs> like it, it bothers my asthma. I don't know why. I think maybe I might have an allergy to lavender. Maybe. maybe. It makes my throat itch. And uh, eucalyptus also. I, I don't don't use it. Okay, so that's a little soy okay, sauce. That's good. That's good. This what I need. Yeah. Okay. That's good. Is that what you were looking for? Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. I went to the store. I cannot find it. Yeah. You. <laughs> they said they, they it, it came in the mail. Together. No, it came in the so, mail. It was there this morning. Yeah, that's good. So. There's a... I use it for the something. Yeah. I'm gonna try it. Oh. Yeah. I know that it has a lot of benefits. Sure. Yeah. That's what it means. So I I did need that in, in here. I missed it when I was reading the ingredients. Don't know how I missed it. I'm an airhead lately. <sighs> I'm getting wrinkles in my skin, and I think I'm also getting wrinkles in my brain. <laughs> wrinkles or shorts or like static or something. All right, the seasoning, the liquid seasonings are in. I think that's salty enough because those two are salty and they'll go in the gravy as well. I don't wanna over salt it. I found this recipe on uh, Pinterest. I find a lot of my recipes on Pinterest. Excuse me. I'm going to put a little Kashmiri uh, chili powder in. It's not super spicy, but it tastes delicious. It has a, just a little bit of heat. It tastes almost like like a not. It doesn't taste like a jalapeno, but it. It still has that mild heat that a jalapeno would have. And I mix it with everything and the kids told me I'm not allowed to run out. That's why I bought three packs of it when when we went to uh, Nashville the other day from Patel Brothers. Okay, there's my garlic powder. Now, all the flavoring is in. I'm gonna make the balls and then I'm going to, I'm going to cook them in the oven. They don't need to be fried. Beef this beef has enough fat that I can make them in the oven. And when they're cooked, I'll I will make them with their sauce. I'll make the sauce. Or maybe I should make them in the on the stovetop. Let me think about it a minute. This old brain. I need to stretch out the wrinkles. <laughs> So I can think clearly. There. 
there. It's well seasoned and it smells well seasoned. So I'm happy to see this. Oh, yes. I'm tired. I've been going a lot today. I went to Kroger and, and Walgreens in the morning. And I planted my uh, gladiolas in the morning because it's supposed to rain this afternoon. So I wanted them in the ground before it rains. All right, I have that. So I'm gonna make meatballs and cook them. It doesn't take long. And then I'm gonna make mashed potatoes. Kids love mashed potatoes. There are the meatballs. Hold up. Ready to make gravy. There's my chicken marinating away. I hope it's fully thawed. I think it is probably by now. So there is the meatballs and the chopped onions and the chopped mushrooms. When the meatballs are done cooking, I'm going to move them over to that pan and make the gravy and then I'll put the meatballs back in. So I, I browned those meatballs in ghee and now I'm caramelizing the marsh mushrooms and onions in there. And since I'm going to have a, a grain-free gravy, I'm going to add this onion for thickener. And it, it also gets egg yolks. So I'm gonna start by putting the onion puree, onion and garlic puree in. So I put some soy sauce in two squirts and I put one squirt of mustard and I'm going to put some Worcestershire in there too. Okay, all the flavoring in. So. Mm. It smells pretty good. Okay. So the key is the, I'm using it instead of butter. Now I'm going to let this caramelize a little bit more. And when that's done, I'll add the water and then the egg yolk. And it also says to add a little cream cheese. When I think it's done, I'm going to add the meatballs back in. Okay, now the liquid is mostly evaporated, so I'm gonna add a cup of water. Okay, I put uh, three egg yolks. I separated three egg yolks from the whites. I beat them, and then I took a dipper of hot liquid and put it slowly into the uh, eggs and whisked it at the same time and I kept whisking so they don't cook. And once they were all hot from from having uh, hot liquid beaten into them, I poured them in here and I've kept beating so they can work as a thickener because I don't want um, to use flour as a thickener. Now, my gravy is ready for meatballs. Uh, there was another idea of putting um, cream cheese in it, but I don't need cream cheese. This looks thick enough. It says that it will get cool. It will get thicker as it cools as well. So now I'm going to add the meatballs. There they are. Nice, thick, creamy gravy. And I made the gravy first so that it can and the flavors can get all married together. And now I'm gonna peel potato. Yeah. So it's ready. Creamy and ready. And I'm going to turn it off. And 
put the lid on until the potatoes are all mashed and ready. I have to go peel the potatoes now. But I wanted the gravy ready so uh, it can have time to sit and <coughs> and intensify in flavor. Here's the cauliflower cooking away. Now I'm gonna put my five pounds of peeled potatoes in so they can all steam together. I figured out that potatoes don't need to be buried and covered in water to cook. They can be steamed. So I'm having a lot of fun not throwing away potato water because then you throw away the nutrients that go that leach into the water. So I use less water and I can keep all of it. I'm just gonna use dry milk and some cream cheese and some butter to mash my potatoes. I'm also gonna put garlic powder. All right, see how thick and creamy my gravy got? No flour, it has no flour. I love this idea. It tastes good too. Mmm. Has a delicious flavor. Look how delicious my chicken looks. It's ready to flip. All right. There's my chicken. I flipped it over and it's going to cook, finish cooking with the skin side up. That's the chicken. It's already cooked. Ready to eat. Bismillah. Mmm. Isn't it hot? Mmm. No. I turned it off a while ago. Yum. Tastes really good. That's the mashed potatoes with uh, gravy and meatballs. They taste exactly like that uh, Salisbury steak, but they're balls instead of patties.